All right, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to show you how to do is a free way of playing .mts files on your PC and a free way of converting those .mts files in a more workable format, WMV, so you can actually play around with it and edit it in um, other video editing programs and a way so you can upload it to YouTube. So the first thing that you need to do is to download a Kodiak so you can actually play the .mts files on your PC. So I will place this link in the description. So once you actually come to this website, click on the download FFD show and download the latest version, which would be this top one here. So I'm going to just save it to my desktop. And then let's just extract it. And as you can see, I'm running Windows 7 on my Mac. If you don't know, I'm running uh, Fusion at the moment. It's just a lot easier for me to actually record this tutorial. But anyway, it should be very similar for you as well if you just run a standalone PC. But once you actually extract this, just click on the FFD show icon here. Just click next, next, next. And just click on next. And click next. And click next more, and some more, and some more. Then after you do that, just click on finish, and that's all you have to do. And now if you already have your Canon HF20 hooked up to your computer, you can just click on start and go into computer here. And then here uh, you should see a Canon drive here for your Canon HF20 or any other camcorder that you use. And really you can use this tutorial for uh, pretty much most uh, camcorders that uh, store videos in a .mts format. So just click on that uh, drive and then here you're going to have some folders. Click on the ABCHD folder. Click on the BDMV folder next. And then your files are actually stored in this stream folder here. Click on that and you'll just actually see a list of your actual videos on the camcorder. So here you can actually open them up in Windows Movie, I mean not Movie Maker, but Windows Media Player and actually play the video just to see how it looks. So that's all you need to actually play the .mts files on your PC. Now if we want to actually play around with it, edit it in other video editing programs, we need to download something else and that's free as well. It's called Windows Movie Maker Live and I'll place this link in the description as well. So all we need to do is click on this download link. And it's just going to be two applications that we actually install from this. So let's click on the icon here. All right, so here for the programs we want to install, we don't want the messenger, we don't want the mail. We do want photo gallery, we do want movie maker, and the rest we don't want. So just uncheck those. Then just click on install. All right, so when it's done, just uncheck these two check boxes here and click on continue and next click on close alright so now we have the software on our computer so we can actually edit it the uh, file now first what you need to do which is very important is first go back into my computer and go back to the drive here and we're trying to find the file that we actually want to edit or convert so let's just say I want to mess around with this first file here. What I'm going to do is copy it to my computer somewhere. So I'm going to just put it in my videos folder. And just right click that and click on paste. Alright, so once you have copied that, we can close this folder, 
we're gonna keep our videos folder open that we just copied the .mts file to and then click on start and go ahead and open Go ahead and open Windows Live and then click on Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, here, as you can see, we can go ahead and just drag our videos into the working area. So just go back to the video uh, folder, select the file that you want to edit, and drag it to the workspace. Now, with uh, Windows Live Movie Maker, I don't really use this a lot. Um, I'm not really sure of all the effects that you can use with it. But as you can see here, we can actually add titles, captions, credits, and stuff like that. Or for some of you guys who just really want to convert it to another format so you can mess around with it in another video editing program, you can do that as well. Um, if, you do, if you do just want to actually use this Windows Live Movie Maker to edit the video, you can upload it directly to YouTube by clicking this button here. And if you already have a YouTube account, just input your info here and it'll go ahead and already upload it to YouTube for you. Now, if you just want to save it onto your computer in a different format, you can click on this button here, and it's already in high definition, 1080p, or you have some more options here that you can uh, convert it to a lower uh, quality setting here. But let's say we want the highest setting, just click on this link here, and you just need to uh, pick a place that you want to actually save the file. And I'm just going to name this the new converted file. You can save it as anything that you like. And as you can see, it's going to be converted to a WMV file. So I'm not really sure if Windows Movie Maker uh, Live allows you to convert it to any other format, but this is just one way you can achieve this. So depending on the size of the video, it's going to determine how long it's going to take to convert. But after that, it should go ahead and convert it to a WMV format, and we can actually play that video. Alright, so once that completes, as you can see here, we can actually play the video or we can open it in a folder, etc. I'm just going to close it and go back to our video um, folder. And as you can see, it has a new a file here which is the new generated format from this .mts file so now I can actually open this in Windows Media Player and here you can see the new converted file and again a video uh, playback on this Fusion is not as great as for those who maybe be running this in boot camp or who's running this on a regular PC but you can expect the quality to be a lot better a lot faster but anyway, as you can see here, this is the new uh, converted file, the .wmv file. It plays fine. So this is, again, just one method of converting a .mts file. It's a free method. And I know most of you guys are interested in a free way of doing this. There are programs you can actually buy that will probably allow you to convert this in a, in a lot of different formats and allow you more control of how you want the video converted. But I hope this helps some of you guys who are using a PC and who do need to find a way how to convert video files so you can edit it in other video editing programs. So, hope that helps, and I will see you next time.